Let's not be creepy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh god. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for all you do, Amazon. So, <clears throat> I have four-year-old twins and, you know, they watch YouTube a lot and there's videos of unboxing and this is just the adult version of that. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to tell you all about this. So I think it's called Breville Espresso Machine and I got it on Amazon. It is expensive, I'm not gonna lie, but if you get it at a good time like I did, you'll get a huge discount. So they have it listed for $7.50. Typically, the one I get is usually $7.09, but put it in your cart and just wait for it to drop to that 523 mark. and you will be so happy you did. I love this thing. I use it every morning, every evening. I'm not gonna lie, I make coffee in the morning before work and then I usually get home and I'll make another one. It's just so good. I love iced coffee, guys. Okay, so when you choose these, there's a single double wall. I'm gonna use the, the single wall, but it's a double cup, if that makes sense. And so you just pick, you know, whichever one you like, you snap it in. And this is an overflow, which is really nice. I love this feature because you just twist that on and it will prevent any of the espresso from kind of overflowing. Power it on. Just kind of give you a little look at the machine. The water tank is on the back side. So I'll just lift this up, show you that the water gets poured directly in here. There's the steamer for frothing milk, and it takes literally seconds to heat up. So just push one little tap and the espresso will grind, and you can do it manually, and I'll show you. It, it tells you right there that the manual push and hold will grind to your liking, so you just obviously stop pushing when you get the amount you like. This does come with it. It's just the razor. It can, you know, just make everything very even. I don't use it to be honest. I showed it in this video, but I don't use it. I got better and better at getting the right amount. And this tamper is nice too. It's magnetic, so it just kind of has a little, its own little spot. I am gonna make a mess here, but don't mind me. I'm just trying to demonstrate, I guess, what you can do. Like I said, I don't do this now. I just take it over to my trash and I use the tamper and just tamp it with the overflow thing still attached to it. And then I take that off. So <clears throat> whatever you guys prefer, but I'm just gonna show you how this works. And then you can put it inside and actually spin it, which is what you're supposed to do, I guess. But again, I don't do this. I just, I, I don't know, I just don't see the point. <laughs> Look at the mess I'm making, oh my goodness. And that brush is nice too, to kind of just brush away any excess. So that comes with it as well. One last tamp. I think getting the right pressure to tamp the espresso down is key. 
because there is a pressure gauge on the machine and there's an espresso range and it is my goal to get it to that espresso range. If you can see that red dial right there, there's like a solid gray area and I can't get it to reach that. Okay, and just to clarify, I don't have an ice machine, just like I don't have a dishwasher if you watched my first video. So I did buy these um, ice cube trays on Amazon. I really like them. They're like super chunky. I don't know why I think that's cool, but I like these ice cubes. I also started using almond milk with my espresso. I'm just trying to cut back on the sugar. So almond milk it is. So I pour that in first. I pour in the espresso and then I found this at Trader Joe's. It's really good. I give it some creamer. Oh, I'm drooling. I'm about to go make me another iced coffee. That's it. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. And if you like it, just feel free to give it a thumbs up. Bye guys. Love you.